Police are tonight reporting the arrest of 16 persons alleged to be border border operators following a shocking assault on a young female motorist by rogue motorcycle riders along Professor Wangari Madai Road right here in Nairobi. The attack caused a major public outrage today with Kenyans expressing anger over the brutal assault by a mob of border border operators. The attack filled by mobile phone showed adult males physically assaulting the motorist as she screamed for help. Interior Cabinet Secretary Dr. Fred Matiangi, the police, as well as the Border Border Safety Association of Kenya, have all expressed disgust over the incident. It is an incident that has led to a nationwide outrage. Kenyans are livid, seething with anger, and using social media to condemn the harassment of a motorist on one of Nairobi's roads. It all happened along Professor Wangari Maathai Road, formerly Forest Road. A motorist is said to have hit a border border operator, sending him flying and breaking one leg. But what followed next has completely left an entire country dumbfounded. Fearing for her life, the young woman driving this grey vehicle attempted to speed away as border border operators, together with other goons, bade for her blood. They soon caught up with her and forcefully opened the driver's door and proceeded to physically assault the woman. Her screams fell on deaf ears as grown men went on to violate her in every manner. Completely ignoring the fact that this could even be their own sister, mother or even a daughter, these men unleashed terror. And because she had buckled up, there was little she could do to get away. She was only rescued by a police officer, captured briefly on this phone video before the recording stopped. The video was posted on social media platforms with Kenyans greeting it with anger and disbelief and demanding that the police act swiftly to arrest all those who were involved. Cabinet Secretary for Interior and National Coordination, Dr. Fred Matiangi, also expressed his disgust at the incident, vowing to ensure that those involved will be arrested and action taken against them to serve as a warning to others. Later today, the head of the traffic police unit delivered the news Kenyans were eager to hear. That 16 border borders, five motorcycles have already been impounded. The 16 riders are in cells at Parkland's police station and the operation still goes on. Police say once investigations are complete, they will press charges. Immediately they are arrested. We don't stay with them any longer. They are arrested and what follows normally is being taken to court and we have, we have records for that. The young motorist who was assaulted has also recorded a statement. While the border board operator who was knocked down is receiving treatment for his broken leg. The chairman of the Border Border Safety Association of Kenya has also condemned the incident, saying some border border operators are simply criminals. Kesi ifate ile sheria vile inasema. Lakini hawa tutawaita tuni ma criminals. This is a criminal gang ambao alikuwa pale wakimolest ule mwanadada na tunataka kuomba serikali. Kwa maana tumefanya kazi kwa karibu sana na Inspector General wa Police leo na Waziri Mkuu Dr. Fred Matiangi kuhakikisha kwamba wale watu wote ambao wamehusika katika kile kitendo wanashikwa. Mubadi says for too long now the relationship between motorists and border border operators has become unbearable especially when accidents occur sentiments that have been echoed by the police saizi afai kuchukua sheria mikononi mwake aache sheria sisi kama organization tutashughulikia kuhakikisha kama amekosewa mahali popote kama amegongwa kama ajali imetokea tuta handle hayo maneno mpaka apate haki yake it's a culture with border borders and a behavior that has been exhibited many a time and uh, I would want to say that there are organizations that have been formed up by very well intelligent persons and these groups are assisting us in a way, bringing together these border borders so that we are able to talk to them to change their behaviors in so doing. Why not for the phone video recording today? This incident would have been yet another statistic, another event that would have given border border operators the confidence that they have exuded in the past, where they accost and assault motorists as they please. Water. 
Kenyans reacting on social media now want police to be more vigilant as more motorists are likely to be attacked by rogue border border operators. Nimrod Tabu, Citizen TV.